<laughs> Let's get it started. A little bit early. Uh, Tiger Woods for par. Mm, no, nope. uh, he overcooked it. Nope. All right, are we live? Yeah, should be. Right. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see if I get a little notification. Let's, let's see how many people jump in. We got the Masters on right now. Tiger Woods for bogey. Uh, Boom. We, Two over. I haven't got the announcement, so I don't know if we're live. Are we? Maybe. It says live on here. It does say live. Oh, there we go. What's up, Ethan? <laughs> What's up? First person in. <laughs> uh, Victor, what up? What's going on, guys? Hopefully you're having a good day. I don't know if you're watching the Masters. We got it on right now in the background, so yeah, we might spoil it. So let us know if you guys are, you know, DVRing it. We'll keep our mouth shut. Today's going to be a pretty quick uh, live stream, probably 20 minutes or so. We got B Ski coming over and Justin's coming over, so we're gonna. It's yeah, yeah no. it's Masters Thursday now, yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, I pretty much just got done with work about nine o'clock and came straight here. Mm. So uh, me and the big cat had to do a quick <laughs> live stream before uh, we break away. Mark Leishman in the lead, minus three. If you Good. are watching, we just sing. Look at that. He's still at two under with only a few holes left. <laughs> so, so we did a <laughs> little like draft a for the Masters uh, for our boys uh, golf team. We do it every year uh, on Tuesday. And um, one of the guys was sick uh, on our team, so he couldn't pick. So the last pick, his brother picked VJ Singh for him. <laughs> and um, work out. Now, you know, we told him he could switch it if he wanted to, but he uh, he kept it. And now VJ's uh, <laughs> hanging in there. I was looking good. Marco Mira was up there too. Marco Mira. <laughs> it was awesome. They're like, oh, it's like Tigers, uh, you know, it's just like when he left. You know, right. The Masters right. playing well. It's like the old guys are up there. Oh, man. So, what's going on, guys? How's your Thursday going? Fire off any questions you got for us down in the comments. You guys know what to do. We're going to check out a little bit while we're doing this because we just can't keep our eyes off the, <laughs> the screen. <laughs> Who's your pick for the Masters? Justin Rose. Mmm. I like that. I'm, I'm going Jordan Spieth. I mean, mm. Why wouldn't you? I like me some Zach Johnson too, so keep an eye on him. So uh, Alex asked, good, who do you think will win the Masters, and who do you think who do you want to win? So I want Tiger to win, but I think Justin Rose will win. So I want Phil to win, but I think uh, Rose is going to be in a playoff with uh, Jordan Spieth. And he's gonna go down. <laughs> I'd love to see that. I know. If you haven't said two over for Tiger, he's already out of contention. <laughs> I think it's a little too early to call it. <laughs> um, someone said, Paris, Paris, marry me. I don't know who that was, but just a quick shout out to Paris. She's starting her own channel. So if you guys haven't checked it out, make sure you guys uh, take a look at uh, her channel and subscribe. <laughs> Tiger just took out a spectator's ankle. Yeah, I, we saw that. Missing that drive far to the right. Nick said, uh, hi from Ben and Dunes. Great mm. job, guys. Hey, we're going to be coming up there, uh, I think, in the summer of 19. Yep. So maybe shoot us a message on any courses you recommend. I think we're going to do the Ben and Dunes package and I think play either four or five courses up there. <laughs> so um, any suggestions are uh, always welcome. Since Tiger's return ratings for golf are up 100%, yeah, I don't, I'm not surprised by that. Come play in Cape Town, please. Would love to. Who's going to win the Masters? We already covered that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh my gosh, yeah. How about the the Tony Finau uh, <gasps> playing with his ankle? He that messed up so his bad. Right? I don't know how he did it, but he literally dislocated his ankle. Don't watch the video, whatever you do. <laughs> and, and he popped uh, it back he in. He popped it back in. It like Dude, literally shifted it back in. And I think he's... I don't think he'll finish 18 holes. I mean, that was terrible. He got an MRI on it, and they said everything was right. Good, but so. I mean, come on. I know that did not look good. <laughs> There's a lot of undulations at the Masters, and you know he's going to be on his feet for four or five hours. You yeah. Know? So I don't know. Best of luck to him. That was a terrible, unfortunate incident, and it was. Ooh, I think Tiger just hit one in the water. <laughs> Tiger did just hit one in the water. <laughs> oh, he left the door open, dude. Yeah. Sorry. Brooklyn's out. <laughs> All right, we got it. We... <laughs> Not quite. Brookie's a good dog, though. Uh, Bubba Watson, yeah, um, he can play a, you know Augusta so well. He's got that shot shape that's just perfect for it. Uh, Rory, yeah, I think Rory was too. I was trolling be better golf live stream just by saying golfholics, and some guy comment golfholics equals lame. Brandon uh, <laughs> equals awesome. 
is piss me off, shaking my head. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> <laughs> I guess, oh, I guess yeah. we're lame. All right, that's what it is. That's Someone, uh, Chris asked how I like the 790s. So if you guys don't follow us on Instagram, the link's down below, but I posted a picture of some 790s and an M4 hybrid. Uh, Mark from the Club Fix, who you guys saw on the channel, we played with him a few times, sent those clubs over and they feel good. They're, uh, I think they're maybe a slightly longer than my 770s, but it's hard to tell on the range. Um, I tried some graphite shafts. I actually one, I tried one graphite shaft that he sent and a bunch of steel shafts. And I gotta tell you, the graphite shafts felt really good. They were like super soft and they weren't as whippy as I remember them being like from 10 years ago. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, good day from the Netherlands. Boom, what's up Kenneth? Ban and, awesome. <laughs> ban and Dune courses are like your kids. You love them all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fair enough. I well, guess we, have, we gotta try them all then. <laughs> Any course vlogs set to come out in the future? Uh, we don't have anything filmed right now, so we gotta get out and start playing. I think we're, are we playing the farms next week? No, they okay. just punched the greens. So okay. where we're located, it seems like every course is punched. So it's not that great for you guys. Uh, I think we're just gonna kind of wait till everything kind of mends back together. Um, it might be a couple of weeks, <laughs> so bear with us. Uh, have we played TPC Sawgrass? No, we were supposed to play in December, but um, hopefully we'll play there uh, maybe this December. What's up, Charles, in the house? Wait, this isn't master's coverage? <laughs> it can be. Tiger just put one in the water on, uh, what hole is this, 12? It looks like Amen's Corner, yeah, the par three. I don't know how he did, the one that Jordan Spieth melted down on, I think. Yeah. Man, not looking good for Tiger. Uh, this live stream plus masters equals golf utopia. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Matt. Range finders on the PGA Tour, yes, I totally agree with that. It'll speed up play, it's already slow enough. Um, it'll help the caddies a ton. It'll give everybody the same advantage. So um, just no slope and it'll be fine. Have you guys ran into strangers wearing your hats on a course? Uh, I'm not wearing our hats on, oh, I mean some of the people that we play with. But you know. yeah, they weren't. Yeah, I guess they were strangers since we never met them. But <laughs> yeah, we we've met people that follow the channel on the golf course quite a few times now, but not not wearing the merch. So yeah, so the links down below. Buy some stuff. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> What's Paris's channel? Uh, just do a search uh, for Paris Griffith on on uh, YouTube, and you'll find it. Or if you follow her on Instagram, she's got a link to her channel on Instagram. So just click on it there. She's already up to like 130 subscribers. She's, no videos. No videos. <laughs> She's well ahead of the curve. <laughs> uh, the, the Masters live stream must have a delay. Yeah, I don't know. We're watching it on the uh, Masters app on uh, Apple TV. So we're just following uh, the featured group right now. And it looks like Tiger's trying to figure out. Yeah, I think how, he's in shock right now. Yeah, he's put one in the water. <laughs> and for that, for the where the pin is, that's. You don't think the water's that Even in play. in play. That's like a Sunday pin over there. Yeah. For sure you're gonna see some balls in the water. Uh, where does this weekend rank in all time sports weekends? Maybe behind opening weekend March Madness, but that's it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a big March Madness guy. I, I, I do like to watch like the last like Elite Eight uh, Final Four games. Um, but this is, this is it for us, you know, this is like the, yeah. you know, world series of golf. So, I mean, we don't even watch that much golf. So for us to, you know, to, to be here doing this watching on a golf Thursday. on a Thursday is, yeah. is actually pretty rare, <laughs> but it's master's week. So we got to do it. Oh, cheers to that. Yeah. <laughs> and that leads right into the next question, which is, uh, what beer you got there, Marco? Charles is asking us Ballast Point Sculpin. You'll get to try these when you come out to San Diego, Charles. They're uh, delicious. Indian pale ale, good stuff. <laughs> and if you do any, uh, you know, beer tours in San Diego, hit me up. <laughs> this is the take, guy. I'll take you to Ballast Point. It's a great facility. Great beers. Did you say see Hank Haney's opinion on Woods Masters chances? Did not. Would love to hear that. I ordered uh, Tiger's new book that just came out a couple of days ago, I think, or a week. Funny, ago. I, I uh, which one? Which one was it? it um, God, 
it's just like Tiger Woods. That's what it's called, I think. I ordered it on Amazon yesterday. Yeah. I, I heard it was like one of the best researched books on him and like what he's, you know, they did it over like six years. So we'll see. I'll let, yeah. you, know, guys, I'll let you guys know how it is. <clears throat> I'm the Kiwa Ocean course guy from previous live stream. Going out at the end of May if you guys want to come out and shoot 120 with me. Hey, let us, <laughs> let us know how that course is well, out there part. because... Um, we were looking to do a trip out there, and um, if if you you know give it some good uh, feedback for us, uh, I think we'll do it maybe next summer. Uh, so let us know how it goes. Mom's is in the house. She said Brian should be home packing. <laughs> yeah, he's about to head out to the what Bahamas? Yeah, B skis going to the British Virgin Islands uh, for like a week on a catamaran mm -hmm. with like a chef and all this other stuff. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so. He's gonna have a really good time with some good friends of ours, and um, you know, no kids, uh, just him and his wife. So it'll be nice for him to, you know, get some some alone time. We're about to cross another big milestone for the channel, which is three million views. I think we're only like eight thousand away from, right. from crossing it. So okay. definitely want to say thank you to all you guys that have been following us and watching all our videos multiple times, because definitely see the numbers still holding steady even when we're not posting. So uh, massive milestone to be th at three million, and, uh, and we, uh, we, we hit a uh, hundred thousand uh, videos for our Pebble Beach vid. Oh, yeah, so that, that was amazing. that was a kind of a cool milestone for us too. Yeah. Um, so thank you guys. When is the Callaway fitting mm -hmm. gonna open? You guys know. You guys know if they're done with the renovations? I think they are done with the renovations. I saw Michelle Wee doing some some practice out there, and uh, looked like it was finished. We just haven't touched base with them in a while. So I think uh, once we get kind of some more videos going, maybe we'll reach back out and see where things are at and yeah. keep pursuing it. For sure. Callaway's awesome. They've been really good to us. So, and AJ's a cool dude and uh, he's like a friend. Macro is birdie number one. Watch out. Good to know. Good to know. We're watching right now. I wonder what Tiger's gonna end up making on this hole. I don't know if I like or dislike uh, Mark Leishman's shirt that he has on today. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, a thumbs down on that shirt. I don't know. It's like an in betweener, you know. It is. It's it's kind of you know. But for that body build, like the you know stripes, usually you can pull them off. I mean that's why I'm wearing them. You know, they kind of hide some of the curves. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys tried My Round Pro app by TaylorMade? It's amazing. Found out about it uh, through Finch. Have not. I think it's the one that tracks like all your shots and it's accessible by other people. Correct me if I'm wrong, but haven't tried it. We're not too, we don't track too much stuff like that. This guy doesn't even post a score half the time. Actually, less than that. I mean, I'm a field player. <laughs> when I, got, <laughs> I go out there and I just feel it. I don't, I don't think about too much. I don't have a lot of mechanics. Um, so yeah, I, I try not to think. I think that's uh, my asset. Shot a little one oh. under yesterday. Mm, <laughs> just grained it. <laughs> uh, so uh, with the kids, uh, one of my kids on my team actually shot two under on me and uh, he beat me. He's a freshman. It was kind of embarrassing. <laughs> uh, plans of coming to the South Florida, maybe play at PGA National before the PGA moves to Texas. Florida's one that we definitely want to get to, but it's not it's not on the schedule right now. I mean, really the big ones are Atlanta this year. We got Hawaii coming up in July, and then Bandon Dunes early next year. I'm really excited for Hawaii. Oh, dude, I think I that's, mean, yeah. So we, we get to vacation mm -hmm. together and play golf um, equals great time. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna play Kapalua, um, Plantation course, and then probably the Bay course. I mean, it's right there on the ocean, why wouldn't we? Might as well. So, and then hopefully one more, if, if we can fit it in, but I, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to. Yeah, we'll see. But two rounds is good. Have we tried 18 birdies? No, we haven't. I, I'm not sure what that is or how it like works out. Does it like keep track of your stuff? Um, I forget which one that is. I think it does track your scores, I want to say. But yeah, we have not tried that one out. Need some more collaborations with other YouTubers. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we're, we're definitely open to doing more collabs. It's just I think we've kind of tapped out the Southern California guys. So probably when Finch or Rick or one, you know, one of those other guys comes over here. I think we'll, they're over we'll at the Masters right now. They are. They got yeah. the invite. That's Adidas. awesome. 
That's so awesome. So, and you know, I, I saw some of their posts. Like, I told them to go have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> that place is epic. You always got to go when you get the invite. Paris is in the house. What's up, Paris? Drop your link down below. Some people we already mentioned your channel, but some people are uh, asking for the link. So put in the comments if you can, and we'll we'll prove it. Another shout out to Paris. Go check <laughs> her out. Uh, link it should be. She's gonna post it, and then you can check it out on her Instagram. Have you ever played golf in Montana? I have not. I've never even been to Montana. I haven't either, but I'd like but to. Me too. I've heard it's beautiful. Yeah. Let's do it. <clears throat> he said that he's a 3.4 handicap and 100 is a good score on the ocean course. I don't know. I, I feel like I, there's no way I could shoot 100 at any golf course. Really? Yeah. Okay. Never. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I, that'd be tough to watch you shoot a hundred. If you see me shoot a hundred, it's, like, it's yeah. I mean, you had like a broken back at, um, Olympic. at Olympic and you Olympic still fired like 80 something. Low 80. Yeah. I mean, I, if you guys go back and watch Olympic part three, you can make fun of me. I think it was on hole 17 or 18. Yeah. I, I hit one off the tee with like a hundred yards, barely made it past the ladies tees. Then I hit another one about 60 yards, got it to the fairway. And then, I mean, I just made a total mess out of the hole. Do you guys pay regular green fees or do you get some type of deal for the exposure to the course? Well, uh, pretty much every time we pay the regular fees. <sighs> Actually, a lot of times we play the uh, private course, we're paying a guest fee. Um, so it's like, you know, like Bighorn, for example, what did that round cost us? I mean, it was, it was a lot. 400. Yeah. So we're not getting any deals. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've, we've gotten comped at a few golf courses. Don't get me wrong. Um, you know, but they weren't like the real big huge expensive courses it's just been kind of like you know like rb country club hooked us up uh rb and hooked us up um a few other courses um but yeah uh someone asked are we going are we going to the gym and if all what was the best golf related exercises funny that you ask on tuesday i'm gonna go see like a physical therapist um, she's going to kind of get me set up, get it realigned and, uh, hopefully back on track. Um, I'll, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about it once I kind of go through the, uh, the analysis and everything else. Um, but I think Marco might come with me at some point and uh, yep. check it out too. Um, so we're going to get a little physically fit for, uh, June. Uh, we're going to try and play some good golf for you. I was telling, um, my girl, uh, last night, I was going to do like a, like a two week practice session before, um, you know, before the trip? Yeah, before, before Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm down for that. Two weeks. Get fit. Just practice. Just practice, just practice for, you know, maybe four or five yes. days a week. Hit 100 golf balls a day and uh, just see if we can kind of, you know, tighten up our games and play well for you guys because that's really what we want to do. We, we never like to play bad on camera. You know, it's not it's not fun for us. It's probably not fun for you guys. Yeah, and especially some of these nice courses. I mean, it's like, uh, it's so fun when you actually play good on a difficult course. Like, imagine going to Eastlake and shooting, you know. Yeah, a little 70. Score. Yeah, you know? and filming and doing all that stuff yeah. that we're doing, so. You know, it'd be yeah. fun to fire a good number for you guys. And uh, I think we're going to put in a little bit of time. Um, I know it's, uh, you know, it's summertime for me, so I can, uh, I can put a little more time in it on the golf course. Uh, Luke Juan would be a cool one to collab with. Charles, you're absolutely right. Um, Luke, uh, Luke's channel is great. I mean, I mentioned it on Twitter. I don't know if you guys follow him, but if you don't, go give him some love. I love the way he shoots his videos and then also looks like he's putting out good content in terms of uh, the tips that he's providing. And I don't know if he's pro or aspiring to be pro or where he's at exactly, but he seems like a really good golfer from what I saw. So I'd uh, love to do a collab with him. And if he's ever in SoCal, Luke, if you're watching this, hit us up and let's set something up. Chris Dottie said, um, when are you guys going to come play? Oh, Corey, it's on me. Uh, hit me up anytime uh, or us anytime uh, on Instagram or on the channel. And uh, we'll try and set something up with you uh, over the summer. Maybe we'll bring Paris out since she uh, always plays out, uh, out there. We need a YouTube Masters Golf Tournament. That would be sick. Golfholics, Me and My Golf, Shields, Bench, Friday's Ooh. Golf, Improve My Golf, Crossfield, and more. Yeah, I mean, that, that would be awesome if we can set something like that up. We brought up doing a, doing like a Europe against America, like a Ryder Cup style with those guys and they're all on board, but someone just needs to organize it and plan it. So that's what's missing right now. Uh, tell me you boys have the masters on. Yeah, we sure we're, do. We're watching the masters right behind the camera. So we're keeping an eye on everything. Paul Casey for a little, is that a part of I don't know. <laughs> I was so happy to see Paul Casey win just recently. I needed it. 
Yeah, he's plus two, Paul Casey. Um... Uh, Ever play Silver Rock or Classic Club in the desert? Would love to get mm. out and play this uh, winter. Ricky, Classic Club is one of yes. my favorite courses. Silver Rock is all right. I, I, you know, I don't mind it. Uh, my brother can't stand that golf course, <laughs> but I think Classic Club is uh, one of the best in the desert. Let's get out there and play one of these days. I think it'll look good on, uh, on camera. Uh, Andrew said, I want to organize that Eric uh, Hurt. That is my life goal. Let's start off by just organizing a YouTuber's tourney for the Southern Cal golfers. Go team golf holics. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, Andrew. We'll, we'll take on Let's anybody. Mark Crossfield, you know, Coach Lockie, whatever. We'll take them on. Keith's uh, asking, uh, what, what course are we going to be playing the day after uh, the Santa Luz tournament? Um, he's going to be down for a few days after the tourney. So RBN, yep. uh, uh, just l let us know. Uh, shoot us a message. Uh, I might have to set up an extra tee time because I think we have a couple times already booked, but um, I should probably uh, get one more because uh, there's a few people that reached out. So Rancho Bernardo Inn, it's a fun little resort course. I think uh, Marco and I are just going to play uh, that day. Like we're not going to bounce around. So um, like like the for the tourney. Well, for the tourney we'll we'll bounce around, but for the yeah. RBN, uh, we'll probably play with like sure. uh, Charles or um, yeah. somebody else. But yeah, I think Tiger just nailed some more patrons. <laughs> <laughs> Not looking good. Uh, does Paris have a boyfriend? Yes, she does. Do your significant others play golf? No. No. <laughs> it's it's okay too. <laughs> Can you guys play Aviara Golf Course? Uh, it's funny you mentioned Aviara. We played out there with Tim, another uh, fan of the channel, and we did a video with him uh, previously, but. Uh, we filmed some stuff out there, got deleted, and uh, yeah, we, we kind of lost some footage. So we're gonna have to get back to, out to Aviara. We got shut down with the drone out there. I think we got like a couple drone shots on the first and second hole, and then the guy came out and was like, no drones, and got into it a little bit. So, well, then maybe uh, that we can was start what? on drone or hole number three with the drone. Dude, I might, yeah, I might just <laughs> cruise up over there and park somewhere and get right? some drone shots. And just zoom they in on it. what happened. I won't even know. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Love is winning another Masters. <laughs> Who is your pick, fellas? Pick is Justin Rose. That's mine. Um. How are you guys? Is cryptos looking? What's hot right now for you? Um, haven't been messing around with crypto too much. Bought some, bought a few different ones, and. Uh, they haven't been doing that great, so I'm just kind of hanging on and, you know, waiting for it to turn around. I bought a couple small ones too, um, taking a little bit of a hit right now, but I think long term wise it'll be all right. Um, yeah. But we're not in a hurry to sell, so exactly. we're going to hold out for a couple years and just see what happens as long as it's, you know, long term investment. Billy says, what's up, Billy? Uh, Marco already busting out the Sculpin at 11 a.m. only for the Masters. That's right, Billy. <laughs> Cruise on over, dude. You, <laughs> you got over. the invite, so we got a lot of beer in the fridge. Come help me drink it. <laughs> uh, Justin Stier, or no, this is Andrew E. Um, if that's <laughs> successful, we have then had a Ryder Cup YouTube turning UK versus US, so everybody from the US versus UK, like Peter Finch Shields, me and my golf, Crossfield, Go USA. Yeah, let's do it. I'm down. Nah, that would be, be fun. fun. Tiger's trying to reconnect with his fans. I don't think he's got enough gloves with him today. <laughs> yeah, he's already he's already uh, put a couple in the crowd, so hopefully he can figure it out. God, Tommy Fleetwood is such a good player. I don't know how he doesn't win more. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh that would look that nice. Looked good. I think it was Carvin. He just hit one out of the pine straw, 215 yards. Oh, oh it just cleared, <laughs> just cleared Race Creek. We saw Phil. All right, he's got like a 50, 60 footer up the hill. Billy's coming over. Nice Billy. Nice. Had a kid. Do you have enough players for your tourney? I need to start lo looking at flights from New York City. Uh, Gene, we do not have enough players, so please book it. Even if you guys have already uh, booked flights and stuff, but haven't paid for the tournament, Pay for that tournament and get signed up just so we can kind of like figure out where we're at because I know a lot of people have verbally agreed to it but haven't actually signed up. So I think we're at around, people that have actually paid, I think we're at around 20. And then with the verbal commitments, we're around 30, I want to say. So we're still about 20 shy of where we need to be. Um, 
So sign up, the link's down below. It's the first link down, down in the description. Let's do it. Yeah, July 16th, uh, Golf Holics Invitational, first annual. <laughs> uh, 250 bucks, lunch and dinner, uh, get to play with us. We'll, we're gonna make a video, uh, get you guys on, on YouTube and uh, just you know, give back to uh, the guys that you know, helped us out. Absolutely. Get to 25,000, so thanks for all the likes and shares and comments, and um, it'll be fun to get out there and play with you guys. <laughs> Aaron said, my respect for Marco, just went up seeing he's uh, hitting Sculpin so early this morning. <laughs> Must be why he's passing Mike on the drives these days. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's okay, you know what? I I'm all about hitting it straight, trying to hit fairways and greens now. So, you know, B's gonna be hitting it past me, this guy's gonna hit it past me. I'm, I'm okay with all that, nope. you know, comes down to scoring. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on one length clubs like the Cobra Kinks F7 ones? Mm. I've never tried it, so I can't knock it. Um, but, you know, it seems to be working well for uh, DeChambeau, and yeah, I don't, I don't foresee myself tinkering with that stuff uh, anytime soon, but you know, whatever works. Golf, there's no, there's no rule that you have to swing a certain way or use, you know, exactly one length club for everything or not one length. So whatever works. And you know what? Um, I think my biggest asset is not listening to other people. <laughs> I, I try and listen to my feel and what works for me. And you, I think you guys should do the same. Um, if it works for you and you like the one length, do it. If you don't and you like, you know, longer or shorter clubs, do that too, you know, but just get fitted and uh, go with what, what feels best. Ahmed said, uh, some golf YouTubers are currently at the Masters right now. Any plans on going yourself in the future? You know, it's funny, Mike came in the house and uh, he was all jacked up about, about the Masters. And the first thing he said was, I think we're gonna be we're gonna play Augusta next year. So if any of you guys have connections, <laughs> let's shoot an invite. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure we'll make it out there at some point. Um, you know, it's one of those things where you can't really force it and tickets and everything are so expensive getting out there that it's a bucket list item, it'll happen. Um, if you could play only one hole at Augusta, which would it be? Ooh, I'd probably say either hole one or hole 18. One or 18, huh? Yeah. I'd like to mm -hmm. see what it feels like to tee off, you know, at that moment, you know, at that tee box. Um, and then also 18. I'd probably do this uh, this 13th hole that they're playing right now. Really? Par 5 ski. Oh, the par 5, yeah. Yeah, that's the a big old U-turn yeah. on that slanted lie where Phil hit that shot. Someone said something about Phil's outfit. When can we expect some golf hall like Phil Mickelson shirts? Uh, never. You're not going to be seeing any like button-up shirts from us. I don't, I don't like that design. I mean, I don't know what Phil was thinking, but yeah, not into it. What do you guys think about Tommy Fleetwood's uh, setup on our, on his putter? Um, I have he's probably the closest thing to, to my setup, so um, he's just more square. I'm just a little bit more open. So I don't know. Has anyone tried that oh, man, pencil that claw good. grip? God, that looked good, didn't wow, it? Wow, what a good putt! Yeah, Fleetwood just hit an eagle putt to about a foot. He, pretty good. He's back to one over. And then I was thinking about getting that Alex Noren putter. Um, has anybody putted with that? It felt really good on the practice screen. Any plans on doing some product reviews? I don't think so. It's just not our thing. Uh, we like the niche that we're in on YouTube with doing the course vlogs and we enjoy it. And I think that's the most important part with making videos is that you really have to be passionate about it and enjoy it because otherwise it's just a grind. Charles said, uh, how's the 790 of Marco? Uh, they feel pretty good. I, I tried a few different shafts in them and I wasn't sure if they were really the right ones. Some of them were a little bit longer, um, but they felt solid. The miss hits felt like they were going maybe a little bit further than the 770s. Um, the, it still had workability and they felt a little bit softer maybe coming off the face. And I gotta tell you though, the graphite shaft that Mark sent that I tried in it felt the best out of all the shafts. He didn't send a Project X 6.0, which is what I play right now. So it's hard to say that, you know, it, I would prefer it over that. But out of all the other ones that he sent, the, the graphite shaft felt great. So I'm still going to go to the kingdom and do a full fitting there. Um, so we're still waiting to set that up, but so far so good. All right, a couple more questions and then we're going to go watch the tourney. <laughs> uh, Stick Ghost said, I'm not one to comment on how people look, but Tommy Fleetwood looks like a little <laughs> dirty squirrel with long hair. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think he's a cool dude. Um, I don't know. 
Have you ever sprained an ankle uh, while playing golf? No. Have not. But I mean, who hits a hole in one at the Masters and doesn't run down the fairway? <laughs> well, I would run down the fairway, just not backwards. I mean, ah, oh, Tiger just missed a, I think a birdie putt. Wow. Yeah, Tiger's dude. He better tighten it up. He said one birdie. I think. Mm, Tiger's plus three right now. That's Through bad. thirteen. It's thirty-three degrees <clears throat> in Lower Michigan with three inches of snow coming tonight. Save me. Ah, oh, I feel pretty rich. That's rough, man. That is rough. Uh, any new clubs in the future, Mike? Yeah, I'm gonna try and get a fitting over at um, Callaway, uh, do a putter fitting. So I'm probably gonna get uh, a new putter, maybe two. Uh, <laughs> I like those Odysseys, they feel really good. I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh, Andrew said, Marco, have you ever thought about going on Twitch? I know you play FIFA, you heard of Twitch. I, I have heard of Twitch, I've watched some people's uh, streams on there for, for gaming and stuff like that, just to check it out. and. Looks cool. I just, I'm not sure how many people would jump over from the YouTube platform and go on there. Um, it's kind of a pretty big transition because you guys get all the notifications and everything. We'd have to build like a whole new audience on Twitch um, to really get it going. So it's got some cool features. Um, but yeah, I, I, Mike, Mike has actually been mentioning uh, trying it out too. So it's something we're going to probably test out in the, in the near, near future. All right, boys, I think that's it. We're going to get to watch the Masters. You guys have a good weekend. and uh, Yeah, also yeah. check out the link below uh, for the tournament, July 16th. Golf Hall, it's invitational. Uh, has all the information that you guys need. Uh, make sure you guys follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And uh, enjoy the Masters, guys.